Hello! In our last video, we created our first app. As I said in my first video, what is Node.js? The major use case of Node.js is to create server-side application. So let's create our first web server. I opened up G Drive and entered Node study folder we created in our last video. And right-click and click the Open with Code menu. And like we did in our last video, I created a folder, named it first server, enter. And I create new file, app.js again. I close the hello world file we created last time. And let's type in var http equals require http. We started with something new. You haven't seen require in client-side applications. It is used to load modules. In this case, it loads HTTP module. HTTP module is used to handle HTTP request and response. In other words, it is used to send and get data through HTTP. And let's create the server by http dot create server and we add callback function with rig and risk arguments. Rig stands for request and risk is the short end for response. Next thing we'll do is how we'll respond our visitors request. What we'll do is to show them hello world message. Type in res dot right head and two hundred and con tent type text HTML and add res dot end and add text h1 hello word and h1 h1 tag it seems that we finished writing code let's run it open powershell and go to our node study folder the double slash node study first server and type in node app.js and it doesn't work it's because we create a server but it's not listening to our visitors so let's make it listen to our visitors by adding listen parenthesis port number 3000 function and another console.log message server listening at we used port number 3000 I don't know why but many Node.js developers love port number 3000 so without any particular reason I will use port number 3000 too and let's run our code again press up arrow button to use our last command and click enter it says that server is listening at 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 in some cases windows wants to allow access to node.js as i did it once so it doesn't ask me to do that okay let's visit our website open up web browser in this case i opened the firefox you can open any web browser you love and type in localhost colon 3000 let's wait you can see hello world we finished writing code and we show the result but you might have a lot of questions for example you might ask me what is require function 
How does it work? Or, I learned that it's not a good idea to use global variable in JavaScript. Then why did you declare HTTP as global variable? Is it because it's an example? Finally, why are you using many callback functions? Do I have to use them? Sadly, they cannot be answered with one or two sentences. I'll answer them one by one with other videos. In our next video, we'll make modules. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.